Hey, collective. Welcome back to my channel, Divine True Tarot. I am your reader, Netta. And collective, we just going to go ahead and see what BB got to say, okay? <laughs> Little sister. I mean, you know, she just could not stand to see Big Baby get some camera time. So she like, I got something to say too. So I'm like, okay. So we're going to see what's going on with BB and see what messages she have to say. We have lying and crying already. Ain't that something? Yeah. They're triggered by you. Okay. So, let's see. Collective, please keep in mind that this reading is general. The energies are fluid and the message is timeless. Heavenly Father, I call on my archangels, my spirit guides, my ancestors of love and light to come into this reading. To, uh, Archangel Gabriel is here. Showed up. Mm -hmm. To come into this reading and give clear and precise messages. Okay, so the truth about the lies coming out. Thank you, Heavenly Father. I pray that you will protect our energies from anything that is sent to hurt, harm, or hinder us. Heavenly Father, I pray that you will give us clear and precise messages. I call on my, angel, my angels, my archangels, my spirit guides, and my ancestors of love and light to come into this reading and bless us with the message. In the mighty name of Jesus, I love you, I praise you, and I thank you. Amen, amen. Shalom, shalom. I just thought I freestyled her. The prayer tonight, okay? Mm-hmm. Somebody was trying to take your place. This third party, that's a fucking nun factor. Uh, okay. Well, you know. Hey. That's what happened. Let's go. Holy Spirit. All right. Holy Spirit, what message do you have for the collective regarding their person? Let's see. Mm, you figured out. You figured something out. Your person could have figured something out. Okay, baby daddy, somebody could figure it out if they was or not the baby daddy. This is for some of you guys. Archangel Michael is here. Let's bring him on out. Karmic lessons. Okay. So, Archangel Michael is teaching your person through these karmic lessons. They said bring that on out. Okay. Ooh. Now they see everything. See? Mm. Especially if they're your baby daddy or they became somebody baby daddy or they figured out if they have a baby or something like that. We have, I can't go for that. So, uh-oh. Let's see. Uh, what is this? What happened here? Yeah, let's do that again. That was all twisted up. Let's go. Somebody had too much pride, but now they see everything. Mm-hmm. Especially with Archangel Michael here. She is. Let's go. Ooh. Look. Mm. This is uh, somebody trying to get out of something. Slip away. Somebody trying to, yeah, sneak away. That's what I'm getting. I'm getting the Seven of Swords. Mommy, Daddy issues. This baby daddy. Okay, so somebody can have issues with the mother or the father of their child. One more. Let's go. All right. Let's go. Holy Spirit, thank you. Shocking news. Let's kiss and make up. What's going on here? Something is shocking news. That's center of the reading. Somebody playing dumb. Uh, somebody pretending like they don't. They don't know the truth or something like that. Archangel Gabriel is here. Uh, the Most High God is here? Okay, let's bring him on up. Karma is here. Damn. Okay. Third party willing to be a third party. Somebody holding too much pride. Okay. We're going to leave him like that. We're going to get all in it. Okay. Well, and look, I'm, Abba Father is here. They know they fucked this up, this crazy ass bitch. This third party willing to be a third party. Okay, so all everybody out here, collective, what the fuck going on? What the hell is going on? Because of too much pride. Child. 
We have Karma, the Most High God, Archangel Michael, and Gabriel here with shocking news in the center of the reading. If somebody ain't getting their ass thoroughly handed, I don't know what, what the hell this is. But we have the Most High God and Abba here. I mean, you know they want the same, but look at, damn, and up under that is no escaping from this. Damn, scared straight. Damn, why? Because their whole life is in, in a mess. Wow. If, if this ain't a spiritual ass whooping, I, I, what the hell they do? What, 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 what did the collector's person do? Okay, let's, let's go ahead and get it. Um, let's see. We are going to go for, where they at? Let's get these. Oh. No, no, no. These. Okay. We have escaping. Okay, so somebody was trying to leave. Somebody trying to get the hell out of here, the hell out of Dodge. Yeah, because of this emotional storm here. Turmoil, unstable, somebody afflict, afflicted. Okay. This masculine is going through it. That's what it feels like, collective, a masculine energy. We have baby daddy out here, so, you know. Let's go. One more? Okay. Open heart, emotional storm. Yeah, somebody is getting taught life lessons that at the... It's almost like this is the apex of somebody's lessons in karma. Yeah, first position, I figured it out. Yeah, because of these karmic lessons. Somebody also, too, have help out here. Mm-hmm. Help from this crazy-ass bitch that's willing to be a third party. Okay, okay, so this is feeling like collective. The angels and Abba is out here to help your person with this crazy-ass bitch, this third party. They got too much pride because of this open heart. But your person know they fucked this up. They know they done caused this, but they 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 got they got an army around them too. This is a divine masculine that's learning these karmic lessons. That's why they want to kiss and make up. Okay. All right, let's go. Look at thank you. Return. See, this mask, they want to return. They want a second chance. They want an opportunity to make amends. They figured it out. What's this? Open heart came right on out. Wow. This this one, I, again, it's the same energies. This, this group of masculines is not playing. They're tired. They're tired of chasing thrills and ecstasy. They're putting up boundaries. Okay. Honey, boom. Let's see. Let's go. What else can you tell me? What else is going on? Uh, that's too much. Okay. Well, I'm going to take it since he showed his face. Yeah. Divine masculine. Come on, bring your ass on out here. <laughs> I told you. It's the masculine energy here. Yeah. You're, you're, in, you're in deep with a third party. Somebody who's attached. I heard who don't want to be attached. Detached. We have the eight right here. So this is karma. So this third party is your karma. Yeah. Being in deep, especially emotionally, or they in deep emotionally, and you broke them. Broke their heart. I heard destroyed their heart. Or they could have did this to you. This is also this is healing. Some of these maskness is healing from this third party. Mm. Yeah. What can you tell? What else can you tell me about this masculine energy, Holy Spirit? What else can you tell me about this masculine? Look, healing twin flames. I can't make this up. Damn. This group of masculines is not playing. And they said, bring that on out. Yeah. They needed time. Some of them need more time. Yeah. 
Thank you for the confirmation. Some of them need more time because, you know, they're, they're changing their distractions. They was distracted, but they're changing it. But that's what caused the delay. Yeah. Divine feminine. Divine feminine. Your person needs time. Damn. They say bring that on out here. So y'all showed up with the twin flames, divine feminine, divine masculine. Give it time to return. This masculine here got help. Yeah, so this distraction, they bitter. Somebody is in pain, too. Bitterness and pain. Wow. Because they're missing you. Thinking about you, divine feminine. Damn. Because you have an open heart, or they want you to open their heart. Your heart. Excuse me. Yeah. What can you tell me about this masculine? <clears throat> Emotional star. Yeah. I heard they're running back to you or they're running from somebody as well. <laughs> running, rejection. This masculine could have got rejected. Or they could have rejected somebody and they're running from them. Something like that. They want to talk to you about it. Come clean with the truth. This is for some of you guys. They could be running from somebody that they rejected. This third party that's willing to be a third party. Yeah. The truth about some secrets is coming out. Mm. But they don't want to show their face. So, you know, this masculine still, they need time to get it together. But damn. Okay. Well, let's see. What can you tell me about this twin flame journey? What can you tell me about these twins? But this masculine is just in just so much. I'm hearing emotional turmoil. You know, storms and turmoils. It's just, oh, there you go, right there. Unstable. Yeah. They're missing you. That's because they're missing you, craving you, desiring you. What can you tell me about this twin flame connection? Somebody is remember reflecting on your connection. Yeah. Changing the perspective of your connection because they were distracted. Yeah. This mask going to know they're better off in the twin flame connection with you. But they, they have no words. That's the reason why they was distracted and, and knowing it was only you. <laughs> That's what I'm hearing. Yeah, but they feel that you're with, withdrawn or they are withdrawn from you because you could be not talking to them so they could be feeling a certain type of way, something like that. They got turmoil again. I've seen it. Okay, well, what, yeah, past life, they shall do. Y'all done been through this shit before. Past life memories. Ooh. Okay, so there is past life memories here between you two. Both of you guys are waking up to that fact as you heal. Wow, somebody over here is hoping, hoping that you remember the memories is what I'm getting. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but this, y'all been through this before in another past life. That's how come all the angels is out here. It's, it's making me feel like this masculine always had this too much pride. Until these karmic le lessons came down with this crazy ass bitch. I mean, you know, this is a lesson that will not be forgotten and well learned. Yeah. Yeah. Because somebody is feeling shallow, they feeling empty, or this connection was with this third party was superficial, it was shallow, it didn't have it wasn't about nothing. Basically, they want to come and confess this. But somebody feels stuck or trapped. Trapped in heartbreak or, yeah. Somebody, yeah. Something like that. Well, why is the, all the angels out here? With other. Because of rejection, abandonment. Because your person abandoned the connection or they rejected this third party. That's what I'm getting. Yeah, and they need peace. All they want is peace, but look, distraction. It's almost like they don't know how. Silence. Only you, conflicted. Yeah, okay. They out here because you reject them, but they, they want to find balance and peace within this build a relationship is what I'm hearing. Or a friendship. Somebody's rejecting that. Yeah, so your person is getting help. Yeah, what's this? We have withdrawn. 
That was in the reverse, but I picked it up in the upright. Somebody got some shocking news about some type of hmm, somebody could be uh, somebody could find out that they was being under a love spell or somebody was being hexed or cursed or something like that. It's some type of realization coming to that. Yeah, they want to escape this. Somebody following their intuition. Yeah. Yeah, because they're healing. You know, somebody's being nervous. They're healing because of this karma here. They want to release it. Or as somebody is healing, they're releasing karma and they want a second chance with you, but they're stressed out because they're trapped. They're stuck. Hands are tied. That's what I'm getting with this third party. Why are their hands are tied? Why is the collective person hands tied with this third party? What's this? Because there's some secrets coming out. And somebody feels as though that no, it's not it's not a mistake for somebody to tell somebody secrets. Okay? Everything that was kept from you, collective, is coming out. There's nothing nobody could do about it. Mm -hmm. All the dishonesty, all the deception, all the trickery is coming out. There's nothing nobody could do about it. Mm -hmm. Somebody feel as though that's the only way they could have start something new or build something new with you. If just they they let it all out, they're tired. They're tired of wearing this mask, caught, holding this bluff, okay? They're tired of the separation. They want the commitment, but they feel abandoned and hopeless, and they're stressing them out. But one, they feel as though, they feel as though one day they can, they can nourish the connection. That's what I'm getting. Wow. All right, well, shit. So this masculine know that they want to leave whatever situation that they're currently in let's see what is coming in for the masculine when they leave the current situation that they're currently in you can't tell us education some type of lesson is going to be learned that's what i'm hearing yeah power position strategy yeah so somebody is in protection there you go somebody's going to figure out how to move forward yeah, with wisdom, spiritual work. Yeah. Somebody is going to be divinely guided and they're going to start listening. This is making me feel like this masculine. Yeah, after they leave the, the connection, they're going to get some type of wisdom, some type of understanding is what I'm hearing. Yeah. Progress and wish come true. How to move forward towards their wishes and their dreams. They come true. But they being stuck in the past or stop looking in the past or they have to come. They have to remember how to, yeah, how to move forward. Courage. Independence. How to do things on their own is what I'm hearing. Many choices, short term. So they got to come to the realization that shit. It's not. It's like things are opportunities are coming in fast, and you're gonna have to make those choices quick, rather quickly. Or you know you can't lollygag on the choices that you have to make. See fast changes. I can't make this up. You gotta you gotta get with it. But it's like you you're holding yourself back, being stuck. With this flashback, it's like people from the past return. That the people from the past are gonna hold you back. That's what I'm feeling. Or this person from the past is holding you back. Divine masculine. Yeah. They want you to there's some reminiscing here. Yeah. It's almost like flexible freedom. So it's almost like somebody is gonna really try to hold you back from moving forward. You know, I'm getting, trying to put some magic on you, cultivation and magic. Yeah, they're trying to put some magic on you so you can stay with them long term. Okay? Because they feel as though you're moving away, moving up. Yep. Having opportunities come in. They're trying to hold you back. Yeah, they can see the signs of you having brand new opportunities come in towards you. It's being illuminated to them. They want to lock you down. They want to freeze you up. I'm telling you. If I imagine the relationships, I can't make this shit up. Somebody want to lock you down and freeze you out from going on a new journey in love or life, period. This is how come the angels is out here going towards a great match. This is how come others out here. Look, this third party being dealt with. That's all this is. This masculine is being free from the clutches of this third party. as willing to be a third party crazy motherfucker. Okay? 
So this one right here, they it's making me feel like this third party knew that your masculine was with you. Y'all was together and they snuck their ass in willing to be a secret. And your dumb ass masculine went over there and tried some shit out. And got their ass whooped all the way back over here. And now the angels at, at Alba got to help clean it up. Hey, they there for that because they done changed something. This masculine done changed something. They realize how much they fucked up with this too much pride here. Mm-hmm. So, you know, just because they cleaning it up, collective, divine feminine, don't mean they have to come back towards you. You can forgive them. Shit. Some of you guys could even help them. But that do not mean that you have to go back into another cycle with this one. No. Because if you don't, that ass will be replaced. Why? Because they fucked this up. Okay. All right, collective. I'm going to leave it right here. This is what I have for you. If any of these messages resonated, please drop a comment down below. And I will see you in the next video, okay? Till then, take care. Bye.